You may have noticed different types of leaves around you daily. They share the same parts, but their appearance and pattern differ. So, to study and understand them well, scientists categorize them into different types based on various characteristics. Let's have an overview of these categories and features used in leaf classification. Regardless of the differences, all leaves generally have the following parts. Blade or lamina is the broad, flat part of the leaf where photosynthesis occurs. The petiole is the stalk that attaches the leaf blade to the stem. Veins are thread-like structures in the leaves. These provide structural support and transport water, nutrients, and sugars. The central vein is called the midrib. Stipules are the small leaf-like appendages at the base of the petiole. But they are not present in all leaves. Now, let's discuss different types of leaves. Botanists classified leaves based on their shape, structure, venation patterns, leaf margins, and leaf arrangements. Leaves based on shape and structure can be categorized into simple and compound leaves. Simple leaves have a single, undivided blade. Examples include maple and oak leaves. While, in the compound, leaves blade is divided into multiple leaflets. They are further classified into pinnate compound leaves and palmate compound leaves. In pinnate compound leaves, leaflets are arranged along both sides of a central axis such as in rose and ash. In palmate compound leaves, Leaflets are spread out from a single point like fingers on a hand like in horse chestnut. The next thing botanists use to classify leaves is venation pattern, which means how veins in the leaves are arranged. Two types of venation patterns are seen in the leaves, parallel venation and reticulate venation. In the parallel venation pattern, veins run parallel to each other. They are common in monocots like grasses and lilies. While, in the reticulate venation pattern, a network of veins is found, they are common in dicots like roses and oaks. Based on margins divide leaves into three major categories, entire, serrated, and lobed. Entire leaves have smooth, unbroken edges. Serrated leaves have edges with tooth-like projections. And lobed leaves have edges with deep, rounded, or pointed indentations. Another point for leaf classification is their arrangements on the stem. Leaves are arranged in ways on the stem, alternate, opposite, and world. In an alternate arrangement, single leaves are different heights on the stem. And only one leaf is attached at each node. In the opposite arrangement, pairs of leaves at the same height on the stem. Both leaves are attached to the same node. In the world arrangement, three or more leaves at the same height on the stem. Based on the shapes leaves are divided into elliptical, lanceolate, and chordate. Elliptical. Oval-shaped, broadest in the middle. Lanceolate. Long and narrow, tapering to a point at both ends. Chordate. Heart-shaped with a distinct notch at the base. By categorizing leaves based on these characteristics, scientists can better understand plant identification, evolution, and adaptation to different environments. This classification aids in research and provides insights into the ecological roles of different plants. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.